welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. When we bring in an object like this one, we need to align it first in space. The problem with this one is that we need to find a symmetry plane here that will allow us to place it uh, accordingly. And as we see here, this is a symmetric part, but there are some areas here which are not needed. So what we actually will do, we'll just use the Mesh Selection tools and with the free hand, I just make sure that Select True is on, I will just paint this area and right click and hide select. The reason for this is that I want to leave on the screen only the area of my scan object which is symmetrical because what I need is to find this symmetry plane. I'm now ready to go and there is an option here in the primitives which is called symmetry plane. Before I begin, in some cases, it is useful that I pre-select my plane which is roughly will define my symmetry. I can use the standard mesh selection tools. I just use the free hand and just click here to define my plane of symmetry. If we have a selection, I can select primitives and select the symmetry plane. What software will do, will make a plane fit through the selection and will define this as my symmetry plane here. We have some controls to navigate the plane, which we will discuss. But also what you see on the screen is that the software shows the visible points of the mesh in a symmetry way. So the yellow points are actually my points that are drawn based on the symmetry of this plane. We have a manipulator here, which means I can actually change the position of the plane and as you see it defines this in real time and you can see it on the screen. We're still not ready and I'll show you, we'll cancel this for now and I will show another way of defining your initial symmetry plane. I will unselect everything and now I just will place roughly by eye how my object will be on the screen because here I can see that this is kind of my symmetry. I will then select primitives and select symmetry plane. In this case, as you see, nothing happens and we don't have this plane. So the way I can do this is to define this on the screen. I can select this mode and what I need to do is just click on two places on the screen that will define my plane. I can just click here once and you can see it draws my line of symmetry and I can click here and I got my plane. So this is what I have as an initial guess, but this is not enough. In order to actually define my symmetry plane, I just press the button rebuild. What software does will optimize the position of my uh, plane in such a way so everything is, when the points are mirrored, they get the best uh, overlap with the reference mesh. So this is what I have now, and I can visually just see how close I am. Again, let's focus now on the manipulator. The manipulator allows you to move the plane in a different directions, and I can just drag my plane here, so I can visually see and feel how my symmetry plane is. I can also probably rotate around the different axis, for example here, I can just rotate my plane and in this way I can adjust my position of the plane. Because of the sensitivity of the mouse, we may not be able to do this really accurately. So that's why we have here a slider which is called drag strength. If I just slide all the way down, not to zero, but just slightly here, it just when I move it actually very gently moves the, the plane so we, you can tweak. For example, I can also use the numeric part here to translate if I have one to specific values. And as you can see, the software automatically just shows what happens. Furthermore, we have something which is really unique for our software that you can use the analysis tool. 
What we see on the screen now is actually a cover plot of the deviation of the mirror point in regards to our reference mesh. So in this case, if I just play with the values here, you can see instantly that the overlap changes and you can see my results. I can also track, as you see here with this uh, controls and also I can tweak and position my plane. I can even rotate if I want to so I can get the best results. At any point when you just adjust manually your plane you can press rebuild. What happens with the rebuild is that it uses the current starting position of the plane and this will try to find the best symmetry plane. And this is what you get as a result now. Because this is a real part, that is really hard to define a real symmetry because it's been plastic. We can see that the, most of the area is green, but some of the areas are, do not overlap well. But this is because of the physical part has never been truly symmetric. I hope this video is useful. Subscribe for our YouTube channel to learn more about our products. Thank you for watching.